Hi, uh, Jonathan York from Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at the investment markets. Um, the ongoing sort of trade dispute between uh, China and the US is sort of heating up again. Uh, Trump uh, slamming more uh, tariffs on uh, Chinese goods and potentially talking about another maybe 200 to $250 billion worth of Chinese goods. What Trump does fail to sort of take into consideration is that a lot of the uh, goods coming out of China, maybe sort of intermediaries, are then used in the U.S. to sort of uh, finish products off and have the, uh, the, the sort of finished article, uh, which is then consumed by the U.S. consumer. Now, obviously, if those costs are then increasing, then the price increases, U.S. consumers consume less, economy starts to slow down a little bit, but he doesn't seem to take that into consideration. Now, while this may be a way away, but uh, you know, with the uh, Fed looking to increase interest rates at least a couple of times before year end, maybe in another couple of times uh, before sort of uh, mid uh, 2019, so you've got increased uh, sort of borrowing costs. You've also then got uh, increasing uh, fuel costs as well. He's also launched a pretty uh, a vigorous attack on OPEC as well, blaming them for high oil prices. Um, which again is sort of quite ironic because certainly the US shale producers have benefited uh, greatly from the, uh, the increase in, uh, in oil prices. And you know, just wonder how that's sort of going to play through, especially as quite a few of them would be uh, sort of pretty staunch Trump, Trump supporters as we go into the midterms. You know, again, quite interesting because, uh, you know, if you look at it, certainly the Republicans look like they're going to do uh, relatively poorly in the midterms. And, and maybe this is sort of one last sort of attempt by Trump and the Republicans um, just to try and get a few votes back, uh, sort of being tough on trade, tough on China, tough on oil prices, all things that really get people to the, uh, to the uh, polls um, come election day. You know, but as discussed, so, you know, the U.S. economy is pretty strong, um, expecting the Fed to increase interest rates uh, by another quarter point, and then uh, maybe another quarter point in December as well. That's discussed, you know, the big sort of caveat on that is say is this sort of trade war and one, you know, one, how long it sort of drags out. And then secondly, uh, whether we see uh, further tariffs sort of placed, um, you know, Trump seems pretty hell bent on that. And it's just going to be very interesting to see how it sort of plays through. Because at present, both parties don't seem to be wanting to get around the table and uh, discuss how to, uh, how to sort of move forward. Now, say oil has sort of spiked back above 70, uh, 70 dollars a barrel now, uh, pushing sort of 72 on WTI. And uh, say so just going to be interesting to see what sort of rhetoric uh, OPEC come out with, uh, you know, against the sort of attack from uh, from President Trump. Prime Minister May had a pretty uh, short shift uh, with the, the EU meeting, um, you know, really came under quite a bit of pressure and the EU have sort of turned around and said, you know, her proposal needs further work. Um, she's sort of pretty adamant that that is the best way forward. And again, it's just going to be interesting to see how that sort of plays through and whether we can get some sort of compromise between the two uh, sides 
to get it sort of ratified by the various parliaments um, to see Brexit come into place in uh, March uh, 2019. If we can't see a Brexit uh, put into place, then you know we get a hard Brexit, and I think that will be uh, really pretty painful for the UK economy. A little bit of a slew of uh, fixed interest uh, issues here in New Zealand. Uh, you've got Auckland Airport, uh, you've got uh, potentially Infratel as well. Now, if you're interested in uh, discussing those uh, options, call us on 0800 867 323. And the Infratel bond potentially could be a sort of a 10 year issue uh, with a five year reset. Um, so uh, if you're interested in that, call us on 0800 867 323. New Zealand economy is certainly pushing along at a pretty reasonable rate. Uh, latest GDP figures were you know, really pretty good. Um, but you know, as, that, as that's a little bit of a backward uh, sort of uh, um, indicator, you know, maybe the next sort of six to nine months will be a little bit more crucial. Um, obviously, it's going to be interesting to see how tourism holds up. Certainly with the weakening New Zealand dollar, that's sort of uh, beneficial a little bit as well. Other income options certainly available out there, and you know there are quite a few alternatives. And so, you know, if you're interested in discussing what is available, so call us on 0800 867 323, or go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles. And we look forward to speaking to you soon.